guys, what's up? It's Callista, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a game called Pirates of the Caribbean Ties of War. Now, this is a pretty cool game. I'm super excited to be talking to you guys about this. I'm going to include the link to the game in the description below. This video is sponsored by the developers of the game. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So what I'm showing you guys here is the character selection screen and you have the opportunity to pick from a wide variety of characters, both male and female, which is really cool. You don't just get one female option which is usually what happens um, and this is really a game that has a lot going on all with a Pirates of the Caribbean twist you're gonna see a lot of familiar faces you're gonna see Captain Jack Sparrow you're gonna see Will Turner um, so it's really cool like as you're going through the game now um, the way that I'm gonna break this down for you guys so you can understand all the different facets of the game is there is let's say a high level building piece right so you're constantly going to be developing your particular island and I'll show you what this looks like in the broader map it's really really cool um, so in your island you're going to be developing various buildings um, there is resource buildings here as well there's three major types of resources uh, silver coins food as well as wood uh, and you also have the opportunity to make ships and that's what you're seeing here which I think is really fun right now in my castle I have about five ships that I've either unlocked or have built um, and those ships obviously help you progress in the game in addition to this kind of building piece where you're building pirates you're building um ships there's also monster hunting which i'm showing you here uh, monster hunting has to happen sequentially uh, monsters i think go up to level 25 or 30 right now i'm going for my first level one mermaid um, then you can do the level two three four five so on and so forth and these monsters obviously will give you a ton of goodies right they're going to give you speed ups they're going to give you resources um, so that's kind of like piece two of the games that monster hunting piece the third piece is going to be all around your particular captain um, in this case my captain um, her name is Lady Callis believe it or not Lady Callista was taken uh, and there are three different trees um, where you can basically uh, give talent points to and talent points are going to help you develop um, your overall island develop your overall hero now research also exists in the game and they call this lore uh, and there's a variety of different research trees there's going to be research trees around um, the resources around war the interesting thing is when you're thinking about attacking right and that's the most fun in these types of games you're going to be thinking about two key resource trees you're going to be thinking about your pirates right the hp the defense the attack but also thinking about your ships and i think because it has this ship element it makes it really cool and it makes the game have so much to do um, there's also something called Shansa's cave uh, where you can do basically these side quests and these side quests are going to help you unlock different ships um, it's really interesting there's three chapters available right now I think the third one was released pretty recently um, and when you're going through each of those chapters you're basically going to be learning uh, which I thought was kind of neat and the things that you're going to be learning are more advanced war techniques right so they're going to teach you how to rally they're they're going to teach you how to attack monsters. They're going to teach you how to reinforce. They're going to teach you how to assault, which is something that is new to this game. Uh, and I'll probably do uh, a lot more of a deep dive on kind of that quote unquote assault function in this game in another video because I think it's really fun. Uh, and you can see each of those ships um, in the bottles are basically different chapters. And as I mentioned before, there are three. Um, the first one is Jack's memory that helps you unlock the pearl. The third one, Barbosa's memory also helps you unlock a special ship. Uh, and they get a lot more complicated. You can get stuck on some of these because they require you to be a certain level of strength in terms of your pirates and your ships and also have the durability. Um, I went ahead as I was playing this game and created my own guild. It's called Nerf This. Um, I have space for I think nine or ten more captains. So if you want to join, feel free. That's that's a little plug there. Um, and, you know, the purposes of the guild, the guild piece in this game totally blew me away. There is so much to do with your guild. This is kind of how we're hived up right now. Um, it's a bit fuller now because this was, I think, day two or day three of me playing it. And I've been playing it for about a week. And what I wanted to show you guys here was what a rally looks like. So right off the bat, everybody's pretty cool. We are down to rally. We are rallying a player. Um, everybody can basically decide to allocate a certain number of ships and pirates to that rally. 
um, and you're going to see what that what it looks like when the rally walks but while this is kind of setting up and people are sending ships over to me I wanted to make sure I was mentioning to you guys you know the purposes of guilds here what you can actually do um, in addition to kind of hiving together which basically means you cluster your islands together you're able to build things like alliance fortresses alliance buoys alliance cannons these things are going to help protect your turf so you're going to see an area of demarcation on the ocean which basically means this is your turf you can set up a cannon and, and as ships are trying to come in to invade or hit specific islands they're going to be attacked by those cannons you can also build walls around your um, particular areas and that's kind of what we're building up now um, for the alliance and in order to be able to build those things the entire alliance can chip in for resources so that's kind of how it gets built up which I thought was super cool you can see one of my guild mates is on fire um, I went ahead and had one of my guild mates um, kind of take over the rally so you guys could see what it looks like when I'm reinforcing another rally and you can see what the animation looks like there those ships that are all encircling that island those are all ships from my guild um, that are part of the rally you can kind of see um, what that looks like and see what the attack looked like we won which was great um, and when you win this is where it gets really cool guys you're able to take the resources right which is kind of like typical and standard and what you would expect but in addition you're able to take prisoners so let's say that um, this person has five tiers of uh, pirates. There are 10 tiers total in the game. Um, some may die, some may be wounded, and some may end up as captives. And what we've noticed um, as we've continuously battled is the captives tend to be a little bit of their higher level prisoners, which is pretty cool. Here I went just in for a solo just to clean up. You know, force a habit. I play a lot of these types of games, and I always want to make sure I don't leave anybody alive. Um, and the funny thing is, as I was doing this, I guess we were calling the attention of the other guilds in the area. And w immediately, like, as my ships are coming back, I suddenly start seeing, and you're going to see it in the animation here in a little bit, like, everybody started soloing, basically, to clean up, like, resources, you know, any prisoners, etc. When you get prisoners in this game, you don't necessarily take the hero as a prisoner. That main character you take their pirates and you can actually hire them to be part of your crew which is way cheaper than making them from scratch so that was pretty cool now here you can see I'm being attacked so because we called so much attention with our rally and this is what I love about this game is like everybody is like down to fight nobody's like holding on to might or you know might hugging or any of that stuff you can see immediately like they started sending ships over to me I went ahead and bubbled um, because I have been pretty careful about not spamming low-level troops because my my um, island or my fortress really is still pretty low I didn't want to have you know a ton of tier one tier two troops especially if there's tier 10 um, type fighters right i want to make sure that I, I can save some of that and they're not like eating all my food and consumption air issues and things like that so um i didn't i don't have a ton to defend with um and at that point i did have quite a bit of resources because i was saving to upgrade my fortress so i went ahead and bubbled and they still kind of like marched to me even though my guild was reinforcing so shout out to my guild that was pretty cool um it was the first time for a lot of these guys to be in a war and to battle um so there's nothing like learning like doing it live right um so so far, I think this game is awesome. I'm going to be making another video, um, deep diving a little bit. I think I'm going to start getting a little bit more um, hardcore in terms of the battles and maybe visiting some guild territories, you know, and that's basically what an assault is. You basically lift up your fortress and dump it into somebody's territory and basically start attacking. So I'm super excited about being able to do that. Um, again, if you're interested in playing, please go ahead, click the link down below, download it. There is some room room in my guild if you're interested in joining um again it's called nerf this let me know what you guys would like to see um in a bit more detail down below in the comments and as usual thank you so much for watching